Hello, and welcome to this brief introduction to AP Automation. So what is AP Automation? What does it do? AP Automation auto-creates BizTrack supplier invoices from incoming PDFs, and it can auto-approve invoices that match. This results in significant time savings for the AP department. So how does AP Automation accomplish this? It uses something called OCR, Optical Character Recognition. This is a term used to describe software that can convert printed characters into digital text. AP Automation uses this technology to read the incoming invoices so it can pass the information along to BizTrack to create supplier invoices. Cool, right? Our partners at Innovate have been busy. They've made AP Automation even more powerful by adding in another tech industry buzzword, AI. Ooh. With AP Automation's new AI template, it's easier than ever to get started. Their AI template will automatically interpret the fields on an incoming supplier document with about 93% accuracy. For the remaining 7%, where the artificial intelligence doesn't get it right, you or someone you know can use real intelligence to quickly and easily correct it. The best part? This makes the AI smarter too. Everything sounds good in PowerPoint, so let's open up the software and take a look. Okay, so here in BizTrack, I can see I've got um, eight POs that we're going to um, match to incoming supplier invoices using AP Automation. So let's open up the AP Automation program. And I have a couple of options for how I want to get my files. I can choose to go and search um, uh, for a folder, in, inside a folder for files, or I can drag and drop files. I've already got a folder open with my files, so I'm just going to drag and drop them into the program. All right, now I can see AP Automation has all the files inside and is reading the information off of them. Over here on the left, I can see the information it's reading off of the fields um, inside the, the file that I'm looking at on the screen. And I can click through and, and take a look at documents if I need to. Um, if I choose, I can choose next invalid down here. Um, so it's gonna show me the next supplier invoice where the application wasn't able to read uh, a field on an incoming document. So I'll choose next invalid. It lets me know that, okay, there's the invoice here that doesn't have a supplier code. It doesn't know how to find that. Um, and if I look at the next document behind that, I can see there are actually two invoices for national um, and AP automation doesn't know what national supplier code is. This is an example of how the system learns. So I'm going to provide the supplier code and we're going to see that it's going to understand um, that this supplier code is for both of the invoices for national based on the header information in the supplier invoice. So it's basically looking at that address and it's going to know. So I'll provide the supplier code. And now if I click on the next document, I can see that it also understands that this is for supplier code uh, 5148. So with that, I'll go ahead to next invalid. It doesn't find any other uh, invoices in the batch that are invalid. So I'm just going to go ahead and save all. All right. And with that, looking back inside the system, I can see that all of my purchase orders have been successfully invoiced. And if I choose to right click and look at related documents, I'm going to see a supplier invoice is in the related documents for that PO and receipt. And looking at um, even further down, I can see that it's attached a copy of the incoming supplier invoice PDF in related documents as well. AP Automation eliminates unnecessary work for the AP department, saving time and money. Thanks for watching.